Welcome to Net Talkies. My name is Mrs. Ramlal. This video is on the section Environmental Studies, and this is a theory video on the carbon cycle. But I've not included any notes here because you can get the notes from the Junior Tucky um, website. But here we must be able to apply ourselves to any cycle that you're given. Now, we call it the carbon cycle, but we're actually dealing with carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide right now, there's an excess of this gas. And that's why carbon dioxide is actually a greenhouse gas. We'll talk more about that later. Right. Where we start off with carbon dioxide, we start off with the atmosphere. That's where we must end. That's a cycle. And the first part we're going to talk about is how carbon dioxide is used by green plants for photosynthesis. Why do we start off with green plants first? Because they're the first trophic level. Then, these green plants are eaten by animals. Okay, so there we go, feeding. And when these animals respire, undergo cell respiration, they release carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere. Then, when these green plants die, they are decomposed by bacteria and during decomposition carbon dioxide is released back into the atmosphere. The animals, when they also die, they will be decomposed as well and release carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere. Here, green plants also undergo cellular respiration and release carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And then green plants we know when they die and they fossilize, over millions of years they will turn into a fossil fuel when we burn the fossil fuel, we release carbon dioxide back in the atmosphere. So the carbon cycle is a very, very easy cycle. So one question you must know is how is the carbon cycle affected by climate change? That question I will discuss in another video and in another lesson. Right. Thank you for joining me and watching the short video on the carbon cycle. Join me and watch all my other videos as well.